Hello folks. Well today I'm going to show you how I built my Twin Star. The kit was given to me by Jeff for Christmas, so with winter well in bloom it seemed like the perfect time to build it. Well, People know me know that I don't fool around when it comes to building a model. To me it's sort of like old school this plane because we used to have to glue things together every single part and then cover it too. Well, in this case the Hobbyco kit was completely covered and the wings were built in the fuselage. All I do is put it together, hinge everything and I'm going to show you. You know the kit went together pretty quickly and of course having some experience also helped along with 5 minute epoxy and CA. So here's some of the construction photos. You may pause the video at any time to study them. Well the kit says on the plans that it can run on 15's and these are ringless 10's but they always run really strong. Uh, you know the bird is also heavier and it's built with the kind of airfoils and wingspan that I'm sure with these engines going to fly nice. No hot rod but just nice. And uh, the engines are actually antique OS Max 10's. I got them from a club auction back in California in the 80's from George Caldwell. I remember him telling me he was sorry he sold them to me because they were such good engines. Well I use them in a twin myself for a long time and as you can see they're quite used. The snowmobile is the one I modified a couple years ago to actually be able to run fast and in the snow. Uh, you could search my YouTube channel to find out how I modified it by adding a belt drive. Well sit back and relax, this is going to go fast. A Hobby Co. Twin Star, and guess who gave it to me for Christmas? Mr. Mark. Yes, Julie. Thank you very much. Welcome. I appreciate it. Welcome. We're going to put this together and see what it's like. Today, uh, how cold is it today? I know the wind chill is about 30 below or 35 below, so we don't need to get it done today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't be flying it today. All right, well, let's get started. Be sure the clunk moves here. You know the uh, supplied hose is actually too thick for good operation because the clunk doesn't rest on the bottom. Thinner would be better. A real nice touch is Hobbyco put these strings inside the wings so you can easily string your wires. That's handy. I'm going to leave those strings in there too. <laughs> 